NFL history. Now, you've been around a lot of QBs. You coached Tom Brady, who, by the way, Deshaun Watson came on the show and said, I'm chasing the GOAT. What is it about Deshaun that sets him apart? What's special? What's something about him that we don't get to necessarily see? Yeah, that's a great question, Nate. I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin with that because there, there are a lot of different things that uh, that I've noticed over the year and a half that, that, that I've been involved with him. And, and really, it's his intelligence, it's his poise, it's his, it's his hunger to learn. Uh, you know, he really has a passion for football. He has a passion for trying to get better every day. He has a phrase himself that he talks about, which is trying to get 1% better every single day. And I think that's the, mm. that's the philosophy that he brings into the locker room. He's, he's got a real good way about him. Fun guy to coach. Uh, look forward to meeting with him every day and working with him on the field. And he's doing a good job in his rehab. I think he's on schedule to be able to participate in training camp. And we're excited about that. And uh, we've had a good uh, four-week session with him here in the off-season program, looking to continue that and finish off the off-season in a good way. He's not the only guy you're excited to have back on the field. You get J.J. Watt back. Now, he's saying he's focused on his rehab. He's feeling great. But there's still some speculation out there surrounding his health. So are you concerned at all?